going to share this. Um, for all y'all teenagers, young adults who don't want to listen to your parent or your mom, your dad, your grandma, whoever. I just recently lost my son. My son was killed by the hands of someone else, but by his actions. I told my son months ago, don't let the devil trick you out your life. To put those guns down that the Lord said in the Bible. You live by that sword, you die by that sword. I told him, don't put your trust in people. Put your trust in God. Because man would fail you every time. And that's the result that I'm living with right now. I told him, if something happened to him, I was going to hurt forever. Every day I wake up, I'm hurting. I would wish this on nobody. Listen, y'all, listen. Take this ride to visit my firstborn son. Lay my son by his grandma's house is right there. <laughs> they love his body right here. Everybody want to know what happened to my son, but my son was living the wrong life, you know. I talk to my kids like they act, you know. You act grown, I'm going to talk to you like you're grown. You know, you, we ain't going to play both roles. Uh, you're going to be the child and you're going to be the adult on this day. No. I told my son back in August to turn his life around and give it to God. I raised my kids up in the church. I was at home at night with my kids as they got older. I teach my kids right from wrong. I don't uphold them when they wrong. I talked to my kids all the time. And I told my son last year. My son was in jail last year, you know. Actually, for Mother's Day. And I was looking for him. And he didn't call for Mother's Day. And I'm like, where's Tori? And I was worried. I said, Lord, please don't let nothing happen to him. Lord, please let him be okay. I was begging God. He finally called. You know, and I thank God. Then I said, well, Lord, I'm, I, you know, he, he's somewhere I don't want him to be. But I know he's okay. Got some little trouble there, you know. He had to stay in Indiana for three months, you know. He was on Facebook doing stupid stuff while he was in jail. Then I told him, don't post nothing else on there. You know what I'm saying? This is what got you here, being ignorant. My son was very, very smart. When I say very smart, he was very smart. And he knew it. My son been on the honor roll student his entire life. He went to college 17 and 18. He was on the dean's list. It was a a remarkable student. He was a remarkable young man. My son got involved in his game life. God gave him a gift of rapping and I hated it. But I had to understand that it was a gift from God, but it was other ways of using this gift. I was trying to get my child to see. <laughs> my child rapped about his life. You know what I'm saying? Everything you hear Y and I see two times rap about, that's the stuff he did. He lived that life. You know what I'm saying? My son could rap, but I didn't listen to his music because I didn't like the things he talked about. My son was robbing, drugged. I just wish my son would have repent. He gave his life to God like I did. I prayed with my kids every day they went to school. I prayed for them. I did everything I could. I sent them to college. His cousin was living in Virginia, Maryland. I sent him to Maryland. I was just trying to get him to see that it was a broader life out here the way he was living. <laughs> By he I am today. 
2024. You know what I'm saying? My son gone. He ain't coming back. I told him, you know what I'm saying? You live by that sword, you die by it. He did. He thought these so-called friends was his friends, you know, glorifying this gang life. You know, I'm going to live with my five, I'm going to die with my five, but where is five at? Where they at? You know what I'm saying? Where they at? <laughs> hey, this is the life of a single mother, you know what I'm saying? I moved where I was <laughs> so his dad could be a part of his life, so he didn't have no excuses that he couldn't be a part of his life, you know what I'm saying? I can't force nobody <laughs> to be a father or to grow up to be a parent. I grew up to be a parent because my mama told me there was going to be mama babies and daddy babies. And guess what they was? They was my babies and daddy babies. Daddy did what they wanted to do when they wanted to do it. But ask me, did that stop me? I go hard for mine. You feel me? I go hard. I'm a licensed barber. I'm a licensed phlebotomist. I'm a certified teacher. I'm a certified bondsman. I'm a certified bartender. I've done everything I possibly can do to take care of mine, so I ain't got to ask nobody for nothing but God. I don't mind working on my own car. I don't depend on nobody but Jesus. And I put that in them and instilled in them to not depend on nobody but God. But they got their own choices in life. But as a mother, I'm going to continue to pray and I'm going to continue to trust God. I ain't angry with God. I'm angry with my child. Because I told my child I'm let the devil trick him. Don't let these so-called friends rub off on him. And they rubbed off on him. Because this was not my child. I told him that. <laughs> I just wish I had an opportunity, a chance, just to see him get his life right. But, Lord, I thank you for the 20 years that you gave me. How I wish these were different. But they're not. I just ask you to keep giving me the strength to get through it, Lord. 